As you well know by now, I love dreaming big. Why not? But more importantly, I love finding exercises that help you actually achieve your dreams. So I want to share with you a true story. A few months ago, I was working with a client and before we began, he was all excited and I said, you know, what's going on? He said, well, the next day, he and his wife and their two beautiful daughters were going on their $5 box trip. And I was like, what is a $5 box? And he said, oh, I haven't told you about this. Oh, for the past four years, he and his wife and their two teenage daughters have been socking away every $5 bill that hits their wallet. They don't spend it. They put it in their shoebox. Then every Thanksgiving, they open it up. They see how much they've collected that year and with gratitude, sock it away in a special bank account. And then they do it again. And after four years, they had saved up so much money that they flew first class to Paris and they took a bike tour in France and went to London and they planned this beautiful trip together. Okay, I loved this idea. I thought it was perfect because there were so many lessons in it. So, of course, I, you know, imitation is the highest form of flattery. So I immediately went home. I found an amazing box, Exhibit A which of course is so me, right? All the smiley faces. This, this box was given to me by a dear friend. Anyway, I put a little slit in it and I said, all right, boys, because I have two boys and my husband, boys, we are saving our $5 bills. And I taught them about this exercise. Now, ever since we introduced said box into our home, I have to tell you, it's, it's like a part of you is already imagining yourself on this incredible trip. You're already planning it. You're sort of looking out for great ideas. And every time I find a $5 you know, bill in my wallet, I'm like, guys, who wants to put it in the $5 box? It's such a simple and fun exercise. And I'll tell you the truth. I don't know how much money is in here in the few months that we've been doing it, but I love this idea that little by little by little by little, it's going to grow and, and give back to my family in a way which is teaching them about abundance, it's teaching them about gratitude, it's teaching them about saving or understanding how they can leverage their, their money. And even though they're quite young, these are important seeds to plant inside of their minds, inside of their hearts, and a fantastic reminder for both my husband and myself. So whatever your dream is, remember, that it doesn't all have to happen kerplunk all at once. Because guess what? I bet none of us have an extra 10 grand to blow on a, on a trip, just on a whim. But if you seed that idea, slowly, slowly, it will come to fruition. And the same is true for any of other dreams that you have. So if you imagine someday giving a TED talk or getting a huge promotion in your career, find ways slowly, slowly, little by little, to plant those seeds and nurture them on an ongoing basis. I'm excited for you to create your own $5 box. In fact, I would love to hear from you in the comments below about what seed you're going to plant today, what commitment you're going to make to nurture your big dream, and then together we can all make amazing things happen. Let's do this thing, yeah? Have a good day.